Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your May 2021 Tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's get straight into your reading as we always do and pull your oracle card for the month. Okay, love the energy, very Taurian, standing firm. I am noble, brave and strong. Standing firm, isn't that lovely? Okay. Message for Taurus, please, angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Taurians. Yeah, <laughs> I like that energy. Perfect timing. There's perfect timing this month. Stand firm. If you're thinking about giving up on something, there's definitely an energy that I'm getting. Just stay at it. Okay. So... I'm going to pull four cards. Roughly works out as one card per week, though with divine timing and all that. People are at different life stages, but the message and cards remain the same. Then we clarify the cards, go deeper into the message, and it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. First card is turned over. We have the Two of Swords. Ten of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, Taurus. And the Seven of Swords. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message. I'm using the Radiant Wise Spirit cards and the Morgan Greer this month. So what do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, Spirit's Guide, message for Taurus for May 2021. Thank you. Message for Taurus, May 2021. Let me do one more shuffle. Message for Taurus, May 2021, okay. I've got the Ten of Swords. Ten of Wands is clarified with the Sun, lovely energy. Seven of Swords appearing twice. We have with the Ten of Pentacles. And the Eight of Wands, Taurus clarifies the seven of pentacles bottom of the deck we have the four of cups let's clarify this ten of pentacles please let's clarify this ten of pentacles please oh thank you <laughs> Love it, we've got the sun again. Two suns in your reading, wow. Let's get one more for that, please. Thank you. Okay, so we've got the four of swords and judgment. And I'm gonna pull um, this one for the seven of swords here. come out I will choose what do we have please angel spirits guides thank you yeah okay that makes sense eight of, eight of pentacles okay so Taurus we have somebody feeling stuck I mean there's definitely an energy with the ten of swords which can be a tough energy uh, ten of swords affects the mind as well as your physical reality it's our mental perceptions our thought patterns as well so this hurt betrayal wounds i mean there's levels to this card uh, loss crisis call it what you will something that has hurt you and cut you deeply you don't see a way forward here there's a feeling of being stuck it feels like you're at some kind of impasse uh, some kind of uh, where there's lack of clarity 
you don't see the way forward um, or you don't have enough information and clarity on what you're dealing with to make any kind of decision in your life. It just feels there's an energy of being stuck here, stuck in some kind of whatever this Ten of Swords meant for you. But it's a ten, which is a completion. And I do like seeing tens in tarot for the, sin for the reason that it doesn't get any worse than this. This is as, as difficult as it gets. Um, there is an ending here. There is, it definitely feels with two suns in your reading, there is an opportunity to release from whatever this hurt, pain, wounds was. So I like the energy of that because it feels for some of you, something is quite imminent. Two tens is the period and it's the tough tens. You know, ten of wands, ten of swords is the tough tens you've experienced. It's been draining. Your energy is at a low you're thinking about giving up and yet whether you know it or not you're actually at a completion and soon there is definitely good news celebration joy happiness positive growth coming your way so there is a message of keep on going it's interesting i i get this energy of some of you feel like you just want to throw in the towel because it's been too much it's been too much. It's been too much pressure and burden to carry. This is somebody who puts in a lot of hard work as well. Ten of Wands energy. And you are hard workers. Taurians are very hard workers. So, but there is an energy of soon. And I'm seeing this between the second and third week here. There is definitely the sun is rising, you will liberate that which has been burdening from. This is a liberation energy. This is a release energy as well. So I definitely see the energy of good news, celebration, joy, happiness, and it's real happiness. The, the sun is also a card of success. It's coming your way. So don't hold, I'm definitely getting this energy of the seven of swords is don't hold back. Now is the time to keep on putting a strategy into action because there is material gain available to you. Your hard work, and it feels to do with money and career here, your hard work is going to bring a, a change. There is material gain here. Um, somebody who's working hard, focusing, there could be some skills development here as well, qualifications, call it what you will just to be more, to get noticed, just to get more money, just to be whatever this is, um, to attract success. This is somebody who does what they do and they do it very well. They're completely aligned in their external environment with what they are within. So there's definitely an energy of you're doing what you do well and don't, don't doubt that. There is definitely an energy of just keep on doing what you're doing and sticking to the plan. And don't let those negative thoughts come into your mind of giving up, throwing in the towel, holding back. Because there's an element of self-deception in those cards as well. Um, Self-sabotage even. Because for some of you, there is, I mean, there is recovery. The Four of Swords is recovery. Um... It's a lovely energy here, the Four of Swords, because it, in one sense, it is getting that stability of your internal mind back. Um, it's also an energy, you know, Taurus, of if you have been working so hard, the message from the universe is give yourself a break, allow yourself a day off. Allow yourself to step back and just have a breather. I mean, that's definitely what I'm getting here as well. It feels that somebody has just been working so hard and they're exhausted. But you're being told not to worry. There's karma here. And this is, this is not a nice energy, you know, the Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. Uh, whatever happened here, there's definitely karma appearing here. You'll soon step into your light. There's definitely an energy of something is going to happen here, which will require you to act. 
and you'll be asked to act quickly. I've got swift energies towards the end of this reading. The period of trial is coming to a close. Uh, there's definitely an energy of karma on your side and you will be able to release, uh, let go of that which doesn't serve you anymore and absolutely step into your light. This is rebirth, being reborn. Because there's good news to do with some kind of goal. I'm definitely getting the energy. The Ten of, Ten of Pentacles is a card of material success. Absolute material success. It is financial abundance. It's what you can do when you allow yourself to align to what you do well. When you focus those skills, those practical skills, abilities, knowledge, and don't allow the distractions of negative thoughts to interfere with you putting a strategy into action, sticking to the plan, because it's resulting in material success, abundance. I mean, this is a really abundant energy. You have three tens, wow. And this is a big turnaround. It's a huge turnaround. And it's through sheer hard work. You know, the sun is divine energy shining on you. You're coming through the other side of what has been a challenge here and conquering it. You know, there's definitely an energy of go achieving some kind of material goal. I definitely have financial goal. Now, this can also be to do with your family. So there could be some celebration in the family to do with some kind of material gain here as well for some of you. It feels very nice, family relationships. So don't hold back because there's definitely an energy of conversations, communication, news is absolutely bringing positive shifts, positive change. Keep on taking action. Yeah, because, and keep on sticking to the plan. Don't allow anything to distract you because the Four of Cups can be somebody reaching out, offering you something. It's also the universe saying, if you're feeling at a low point, if you're feeling emotionally wrong out, if you're feeling apathy or boredom, or it's never gonna happen, this is the divine nudge card to say, keep going because there's news, opportunity, conversations, communication, progress, shifts that is coming your way. Uh, so there's definitely an energy of keep going, but it can be somebody reaching out, offering you something, and it's divinely guided. There's definitely an energy of perfect timing here. There's definitely an energy of perfect timing, so stand firm. There's definitely an energy of don't give up here. It's been tough journey. I can certainly see that. But the past journey is over and the new one's about to begin. Okay, so. Oh, wrong cards. Let me pull the fairy cards. Final message for Taurus. It feels lovely. And there's an element of perfect timing. Things happening when they're meant to happen here, Taurus. There could be some coincidence this month. Um, some level of things just happening that feel like beyond your control like clockwork like the domino effect almost and it definitely feels like it's just divinely timed yeah so we have inner child the fairies of playfulness remind you to embrace your inner child playing keeps his younger heart do something silly and fun but stay safe it feels in this energy you'll be told to take a break when you need to take a break Give yourself a day off when you need to give yourself a day off because I've definitely got exhaustion here, you know, and you're not serving yourself well, you know, if you don't allow yourself some time out. Okay. Yeah, I like that. We've got healing. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has the natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. I love the energy of the sun is coming out. You know, there's definitely an energy of second to third week, something happening here. The sun is beginning to come out. Things are beginning to look up. 
um, things are beginning to happen. It feels very promising here. The only thing that the universe is saying, yes, just keep on going, but do it in a methodical way. You know, this is small steps, you know, one step at a time. You know, it's not a rushed energy. So this is just going at your own pace. Not kind of full throttle where you're feeling exhausted here, Taurus. I'm definitely getting this big message of you need to give yourself some time out as well. Um, so have a day off and the message is that you'll be more productive when you do. So, okay. <laughs> I'll see you next time, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I wish you a wonderful May. Thank you.